Star Citizen now for 3.14 is now on wave two testing for its PTU. That means in addition to the Evocati, the RSI subscribers and concierge members that had access before, it's also now available to the most active PTU and issue council members. If you want to see if you've got access, go to the RSI website and then the settings account tab. Um, you should be able to see the uh, little yellow tab public test universe clearly highlighted if you have access and then you can copy your account across bam you just run the launcher normally and change it to the ptu so i'm expecting it to go to open ptu extremely shortly that 3.14 build but it looks to me like cloud imperium will be keeping it in open ptu or in the ptu phase for a long time as they focus on the huge amount of combat and balance changes that they have. There are a variety of other ways they could do it admittedly, but that's what I'm expecting. There were a few PTU patches over the week, but the latest one was part of that wider PTU update going to wave two, and that is Star Citizen now for 3.14.0k, which had some additions. Further to the ongoing ship capacitor balance and polish pass, they fixed the fire rate of the GATS ballistic size 2 Gatling. Brrr. Uh, they also replaced the Origin 325A nose cannon with a size 4 ballistic Gatling. They tweaked mass driver damage. Heat and power tuning has been done for the 350R. And they updated the Reliant Tanner's health. There were some major bug fixes here as well. They fixed an issue causing players to become stuck uh, loading when trying to load into the main menu. Obviously, that's great that that's fixed. I don't want infinite loading screens. And uh, the missile operator mode should now work in the Origin 100 series in Hurricane. A radar targeting sound should now play to notify pilots correctly when their ship is targeted by another ship. Missile racks should no longer get stuck with the wrong prepped missiles, causing them to not fire all armed missiles. Uh, power button on shield MFD menus in ships should now work correctly to turn shields back on. Uh, the aim down sights reticle should no longer appear off center for the Animus and Railgun weapons when using ultra ride monitors. They fixed one client, three server crashes, uh, two main server deadlocks, two back end service crashes, and a back end service timeout and out of memory issue. Over the weekend, there were some event play tests on the PTU for Xenothreat 2.0 as well, which was cancelled and then uncancelled. Uh, there were some issues with getting criminal ratings for engaging the um, Xenothreat forces, which obviously you shouldn't get because they are criminals themselves, they are outlaws. Um, so that's not ideal, uh, so they need to fix that, but um, that should be getting fixed ASAP, as well as the other 12 known issues on CIG's patch notes. They're currently trying to resolve them as well, and then expect, um, after we've got a couple more of those fixed, that the sort of open PT will be rolled out later this week, almost certainly. Something pretty major that Clan Imperium are trying to solve uh, at least partially or get some polish and improvement on in the short term is desync and they are looking for player feedback with that. So if you're playing in the PTU and you have players or uh, player ships that appear to be immobile even though they are moving and taking actions, uh, if players or a player ship uh, appears to um, be invisible to one another and if players just suddenly appear uh, when they uh, are trying to sit in a seat like but what what i didn't know they were there and they want to hear back from you give feedback this will help them solve some of these issues or at least be able to polish a few of them out for that 3.14 live build i'll leave a link down below um but um we may see some tweaks lessening desync in the short term potentially which is good uh, the sneak peek this week was of a medical bed which looked like it was placed at grimhex you can expect to see a clinic at Grimhex in the future because even outlaws need medical care. We had a roadmap roundup this week as well that showed server meshing and iCache, um, which is now referred to as Entity Graph, is very much the focus over the next few months, actually getting a load of work there. Uh, and the Alpha 3.17 patch, the Q1 2022 patch, saw additions of persistent hangers, which will allow players to rent a hanger and store things in there, as well as um, the addition of independent and outlaw homestead outposts, which will be new points of interest. Star Citizen Live looked at lighting around the verse and how they develop it for various locations. They're quite interesting shows, some of these game dev ones. Um, just how many devs does it take to change a light? You can watch that to find out. Uh, I think Inside Star Citizen starts up again this Thursday, the 22nd of July, uh, after its three-week hiatus, so that's something to look forward to in the coming days as well. Boom, that's it for a quick Star Citizen update. You can expect the open PTU soon, but what do you think? Are you playing in the PTU now or waiting for open PTU or the live builds? Uh, what do you think of the combat changes? Are you looking forward to the Xenothreat and Ninetales lockdown events? Well, what's Xenothreat 2.0 re remastered? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. 
Hey, I heard you like VPNs. How about NordVPN then? It's got things like security and features, and we all know chicks dig VPNs. Oh my god, is that Nord? Well, yes. Yes, it is. Wink. Check out the links below to get discounts or go to nordvpn.com forward slash board gamer. Maybe it will align your shackles or something. Actually, let's read some testimonials. Ever since I got NordVPN, my life is good. I wish I'd got NordVPN sooner. I didn't get NordVPN and now I've got no hands. I'm sorry that I recorded this as an ad sin. I, I apologize to my editor. I said I wouldn't go too wacky. That's that's not what's happened here. Every month we have a ship giveaway and for July it's for a Constellation Taurus with lifetime insurance and a Star Citizen game package. All you need to play this long overdue more cargo focused version of the Constellation is going to be flyable in July. It's basically a new ship. Woo! sort of uh, to be in for a chance of winning that comment on any of my videos made during july and each video gives you another chance to win but only one comment is counted per video more details down below please also consider supporting the channel further via the youtube join button or via patreon or donation or whatever it all helps us make star citizen content great star citizen content hopefully or at least some star citizen content also you should bother the bell and like and subscribe and all that sort of jazz as well thanks for watching